Okay, so today we're going to try to find some keywords that we can use for gifts for mom. Now, Mother's Day is coming up, but think about all the times during the year that you would want to show up in a search for somebody searching a present for their mom. You have Mother's Day, which is coming up in like six days, five days, seven days. Now is not the time to SEO for Mother's Day, right? You need at least two weeks. Ugh, that's not even great. Um, I would say minimum of two months lead time to have an impact on your keyword search. So do it now. Like don't wait because you can't get it for Mother's Day. But what you want to do is you want to start seeing what kinds of keywords you can use that are going to help your specific product show up in searches for your mom for moms, right? So when we do a search for gifts for mom, the cool thing is we notice that Etsy has broken it up already, right? Um, but there's 3 million results with ads. That's not sustainable, right? Nobody is going to search through 3 million um, results. So I opened all these. So next one is gifts for mom Mother's Day, which makes sense because we're doing the Mother's Day gifts right now, right? So that one is a million eighty three zero two five, and then still not great, right? And then gifts for mom from daughter is better, one hundred eighty five, one hundred eighty three thousand. I can live with that a little bit. Oh, that's that's nicer. Okay, where are we getting to now? Gifts for mom birthday. My children are always wondering gifts for mom birthday. Boop. Million. We're back up to a million. Not great. So we found our first maybe keyword from daughter, right? So we're going to say from daughter. Now, let's think about what site we're on, which is Etsy. And we know that Etsy... Ooh, this should be interesting. We're going to try something. We're going to see if we can get demographic information about Etsy to see how many searches are done by women. I know that they're saying that men are doing more searches and you can't, it doesn't hurt to use three letters, S-O-N, in your key, in your, um, uh, keywords and your uh, tags at the bottom. I would definitely put sun in there, but I can't imagine that there are millions of sons looking for gifts for mom as opposed to there really being millions of women on Etsy searching for gifts for mom, right? Like, so think about it that way. Now, do you want to still have gifts for mom in your keywords? Yeah, because um, that is a, as a keyword. You also want Mother's Day. From daughter, you want birthday. So these are going to be your high levels. These are going to be either in your tags. They're going to be maybe if you have a product that you can sell multiples of. Maybe you have a whole listing that is going to be um, targeting this. Uh, here's gifts for mom from son. Let's see how many we're competing with. 95,000, so you're doing, you're competing with the fewest number there. And I don't know the answer to this. We're doing this together. <laughs> Just because I find it interesting. I, I love gifts for mom to be. So we need mom to be, and then we want gifts for mom to be. And that is horrific. That's worse than, it's like 1,000 less than plain old gifts to mom. Good golly. Okay, so that's not a favorite for me. From daughter. Gifts for mom, birthday from daughter. Now we're just, now we're just um, adding length to that, right? We haven't found anything new with this keyword. Because we'll have all of those in our um, in our keywords, and this isn't how many people are searching. This is how many people for these specific keywords. This is how many people are um, have listings. Like Etsy sellers have listings, right? 
So we're going to look at how many people are searching for these things later. Uh, gifts for mom on wedding day. Wow. So now we have on wedding day. That's interesting. Okay, so I feel like there's a whole little wedding thing. So mother of the bride. This isn't really the search that I'm doing. Uh, let's see, parents. What is this? Unique wedding day gifts for parents of... Bride, mother, and father from daughter, right? Mother of bride gift. Thank you. I would say thank you. They're saying thank you. We have two daughters. They're saying thank you because of the copious amounts of money you have to um, spend on getting your daughter down the aisle. Okay. So I'm going to leave wedding over here. We're not going to keep it in our kind of thing. That's not what I'm going for. Okay. So now, but don't forget, we're doing all straight gifts for mom, right? Like this is, um, the, the search, let's check this out. Cause I always find this interesting. Okay. Gifts for mom. And even if all we do is change the um, order. So if we say mom gifts, okay? So first off, the ads are different, right? Boop, 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 ads are different. We didn't get, we got different mom gifts, mom gifts box, mom gifts personalized, right? Mom gifts from son. And don't forget that um, sometimes moms have to find their own gifts. So there could be mommies doing searches. But let's go down here to the real, uh, oh, this isn't even an ad. So this, oh yeah, ad by Etsy seller. You see it right there. Okay, first real one. Uh, birth month flower, garden of love, flower necklace, four birthstones. So this is a different search, right? There's a mom sign, a mug. So it's a totally, a totally different search. So, and it's the same result, the same number of results, 23 different. Um... But that exact phrase is a different search result than gifts for mom. So that's important. How does that matter to you? Okay, if you have gifts for mom, comma, mom gifts, sometimes I will say you're wasting your things because you've just repeated the same keyword. But you want to do a search and find out if those two searches are significantly different because Etsy search is kind of dumb. It's not like Google search that can think about things. It knows kind of what you're telling it. So you may, or you may want to say gifts for mom in your title and put the phrase mom gifts, um, from son, from daughter, something like that. Don't waste any spaces. I know that occasionally people tell you, don't you like use five word titles or something like that. Use every space you have because Etsy search is dumb. It doesn't know how to extrapolate. Like it doesn't know that a cardinal is a bird, is a sports team, is a religious leader. It doesn't extrapolate. It, if you don't have cardinal in there, um, it, it can't figure it out. Okay, so now we're going to do gifts for mom. And the reason I'm doing this now is there's going to be so many searches that we're going to have really cool information um, that, that's going to be able to help us figure things out. Okay, so we don't want DIY, DIY right? So we have birthday, 
We already have birthday. Creative. So now we have creative. Our first adjective. I love adjectives. So now we have creative, creative birthday, homemade. Let's see what homemade means. Does that mean they're making it? Okay, that means they're making it. So we don't want that. Uh, but I did see for Christmas. So we do want for Christmas. Baby shower. Oh, baby shower. So now let's 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 do a uh, mom's to be. We're gonna say mom's to be baby shower. I know first baby is a thing. Okay, it's kind of not what we're doing today either. But those are things you could focus on if your listing goes with it. Perfect. Oh, that's a good one. Perfect gift for moms. What does that show us? And we're still in the everything in, in Pinterest area. If we, when we're going to click on shop, obviously, um, because we want to find commercial intent, meaning they want to buy something like on a site by Etsy. Um, so Christmas. So for Christmas, we do get Christmas in there. We have birthday, Christmas, cute ideas. So cute ideas. Now, we're going to test that because um, on Pinterest, they, everybody's looking for tips and ideas. It's one of the highest search terms for my Pinterest pins. And I do all right on Pinterest. Um, but I don't know if it's the same on Etsy. So we're going to have to check that. DIY we don't want, and dad, ooh, and dad, mother and dad. I'm going for, they're looking for mom. In-law, oh, what a, what a great keyword to throw in that people may not really know about. Now we're going to switch over to shop. Let's see. So this is the shop. We lost the bubbles, so we don't get as many hints up here, right? Um, Mother's Day gift, mom gift from kids. Okay, that's a good one. From kids. There we go. That's a good one. Mother's Day gift ideas. The year is always for me. Like some, if I have extra keywords, I'll throw it in. Because some people do look 20, my friend Rebecca looks 2022 and she doesn't care. She's like, I want the thing. Best. Do we have best? How do we not have best yet? Okay, now we have personalized. Custom. We're going to have a whole bunch of those. We're not going to do that too much. From daughter, mom, birthday. Funny. Funny gift. Funny gift is good. Funny. New large gift set. Large is a descriptor more than an adjective. Coffee, gift card. Ooh, interesting gift card. Popular. Ooh, popular. We don't have popular. So, to me, popular, best, things like that. Um, go to... When somebody is looking for something, oh, bestseller on Etsy, because here, Etsy uses bestseller a lot. So there's popular now. Uh, bup, 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 bup. Hang on. They'll say bestseller a lot. And so people search for, there it is, bestseller. People search for bestseller not knowing that that's a tag that Etsy's putting on there that has nothing to do with keywords. So if you don't put bestseller, all one word, in your tags or titles, um, you won't show up if they do a search, even if you're a bestseller. It's weird. Okay. That's excellent. Okay, we're doing some good, we're getting some good stuff. Popular, 
personalized sign. I'm not trying to find the specific uh, keywords. I'm trying to find keywords that, um, oh, bonus mom. That's fun. Mother's Day gift box, Christmas. We have Christmas, right? For Christmas. Happy birthday. We have birthday. Thoughtful. Hmm. We're going to check all these because some of these might be totally duds. SVG is for somebody else to make it. Uh, na, 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 na. Now I'm feeling like we're not getting lots of good new ones. Okay, let's go back. I need more words. Oops. Let's do mom gifts this time. See if anything changes. Ideas. So did we get ideas? I don't think I wrote it down. Ideas. New. New? New moms. Oh, we want to put that in our new, in the moms to be section. There's bonus. Dog moms. We're going to have a little section of weird things. I'm a dog mom. Don't get mad. Boyfriend's mom. Expecting, let's do under our moms to be. Maybe I'll have to do a whole video about that. If you want a whole video about um, how to do keyword research on moms to be, let me know. Baby shower. Oh, we have that already. Okay, so which one? Oh, team mom. <gasps> That's for if you're on a little sports team. Team mom. Great. Okay, ideas. Mom gifts ideas. New birthday, team dog, baseball, DIY, first time. We don't have first time. We have first baby. First time. That's a different. First time. Mother's Day crafts for children. That's very specific. Okay. Let's leave Pinterest. We're going to go to Amazon. Amazon has great commercial intent, right? Okay, unique, do we have unique? Thought we had unique, we don't have unique. Unique is a good one. I'm gonna put all these in the blog post so uh, you don't have to like frantically write them down. I'll give them to you. I have this mug. Somebody must have gotten it for me. Somebody got schnookered in, I would say my husband. Um, now we're just looking, personize a per, oh, Jesus. I can't say that word. Pers, where was it? Personalizable. That's in that stuff. We're going to put this over here. Personalizable. Wow, that's a long word. Okay, Mother's Day, Christmas Day. Gifts for mom. So there's all the women, right? Mom, grandma, wife, sisters. This is just, we're trying for mom. Tired moms. Relief for tired moms. I love you, mom. Daughter or son. Mother's Day gifts, birthday gifts. So, the reason I'm doing this uh, part of the search for you is because then, of course, you have to do the, um, you know, the, the part that's specific to your product, right? So, nobody is going to go do a search for gifts for mom. I'm going to do a search for gifts for mom in nursing home. Right, in nursing home hospital. 
Oh, that's cute. So that really appeals to me because she would love that. Um, her wheelchair doogie, right? Like, so this is a really good search. So you could say in nursing home, in hospital, right? But, but we're just doing gifts for mom. That's, that's for, um, dependent upon your type of gift you're selling, right? Does that make sense? I think that makes sense. Okay, I think we're done with Amazon. Now we're going to, so that's all kind of we can do to see, oh, here's Etsy. Do we get demographics? Organic advertising darn it we don't get their or like their demographics let's me let me make sure i don't have a thing nope we don't get demographics okay now we're going to switch over to marmalade and marmalade is a paid tool it's under 20 dollars a month and for my way of thinking it's like a little miracle because it gives you the actual search data that people are using to search. So we can come up with all kinds of keywords. We can put them in our listings. We can wait six months to see which ones work best and we can go back. But we want to start, because um, I don't think we could fit all these in, right? All these keywords we found. And, um, and, be able to put the information about our listings, right? Because we don't want to just have, you know, um, like, so mugs for mom, right? Is going to be a different search. Look how pretty those mugs are, right? Mama's mom, mama. Like now we got, now we're into all the other, what are the names of moms? So you want to think of that, mommy, mama, right? So now we have names of moms. Names of moms. So we have mom, mama, mommy, mother. What else do we see real quick? A lot of moms. <gasps> A poopy dog, grandma, mommy. I think that's all of us right right this second. Mama, mama, got it. Okay, so right, so that is, oh, floral gifts for moms, whatever. So now we're going to come down here to competition because this is a really easy way to start doing this. So let's just do the broad search. Gifts for mom. And then we had gifts. Let's try gifts for Mother's Day. Because it would have gifts for mom in it. Um, mom birthday. Um, let's do mom to be. Although I do feel like that's a different, like that's a whole different situation. Because gifts for mom to be has whole cultural um, things around it. Like my daughter had my granddaughter, Emmy. We had a baby shower for her. We had, you know, getting things for the baby, getting things for mom. It was, it was very, um, emotional, right? And so I feel like that is a different than some Jane Blow sitting around thinking, I want to get a gift for my mom. Okay. So gifts for Mother's Day is not good. We wouldn't have like that phrase in that order. Mom birthday. So that's not good. Now it's good to have it in there. These are not long tail. Long tail means that you have a phrase that um, is, is, has more than just gifts for mom. So already keywords are weird because you think, oh, it's going to be a keyword like gift, but gifts for mom is one keyword. So now we're going to do unique. We're going to do all the cool ones that I like. Unique gifts for mom. 
popular gifts for mom. Best seller. Be we'll just do best gifts for mom. Thoughtful. Okay, so this is saying there's 151 searches a month and 161 engagements. So they're looking at more than one uh, listing each time. That's awesome, right? So that puts unique, like I would have unique in my keywords because you're not going to be able to use all of these all the time. So best, I would put in my keywords, but I wouldn't put it in my title, right um there are some searches they're looking at they're looking um but the competition is ridiculous over fifty thousand. where these guys you can tell these guys have done um some keyword research and they know that people do those searches or that your listing on pinterest can be in that pinterest category rather than being trying to compete on the internet. So you need to know if your Pinterest is, um, is part of your marketing process, right? Um, let's see, cute gifts for mom. We've got gifts. Now, there's not going to be many from kids. Okay. Oh, cute gifts for mom is not long tail. I would, I would use cute, but I wouldn't use cute gifts for mom as a whole phrase. <gasps> oh my gosh. Let's look at this. Cute gifts. For mom. Okay, gifts for mom from kids is long tail. There are 121 searches per month. The competition is medium. You can charge more for those than you can charge for popular gifts for mom. That is a good category. So, but it's also really specific. It's like my gifts for moms in nursing home. This is for little children that are not old enough to find their own gifts, right? But it is good to find the ones that have like a lower competition. Um, these are the millions. These are 33,000. That's not, that's our best one we've seen for like kind of a, a good, good one. Um, we wanted, did we did? Okay. Let's see. Gifts for dog moms. Now that's going to be a specific kind of gift. Gifts for, did we do new moms? We did moms to be. They really are pushing that moms to be. Baby shower gifts is not going to be long tail. Oh, dog moms is not long tail. Interesting. Okay, let's do. Okay, let's see what gifts for mom. Mother's Day from daughter, from son to be, birthday. What if we do birthday gifts for mom? Nope. This is a fun one. We call them presents. See, birthday gifts for her is just like, 
that's like a f work friend, right? That's when you're going for her best friend. You could put her in. I, it's three letters. I don't know if I would do that. I would I would do um, birthday presents for mom is long tail. Look how many fewer searches there are. But look how low the competition is. Let's look at that on. You could capture. We want presents in here. See, she has gift idea. We seen this in green. We didn't see this. We didn't. I've seen that. We did see this. Birthstone. See, now we can get into the, you know, October mom, all the months, if, you ha if you're selling something. This is where it's hard to do these generalized searches because if you're selling jewelry, that's different than if you're selling candles. It's different if you're selling um, mugs. And I do have uh, videos about these things, so I'll put them below just in case you sell something and if you want me to do a a, a uh, industry that i haven't done yet please let me know and i will do the research for you i don't mind or at least get you going right so for me i feel like we have a really uh oh there we go i feel like we have a really good overview of things that we could start to look for and then you want to see in your etsy um stat how those things are working um i think like personalized and custom are for your kind of product rather than for you know like gifts for mom so hopefully that helps tara jacobson artsy fartsy life